Let's do George Bush. Well, Let's the fun see. thing about President Bush is that he always appears to be kind of searching for the word. Yeah, yeah you've noticed. And the fun, the fun is kind of watching him search for it. Right. Like during the debate, he said, uh, "Look, you know, say, you know, you know, I say, you know, I, you know, I, I don't think I ever said Osama bin Laden wasn't a threat. That's one of those, uh, you know, exaggerations." <laughs> <laughs> I see, I see. What about? The former president, Bill Clinton. Well, let me just say to you, let me just say that I thank you. I thank you. Thank you. Hey, how you doing, Pumpkin? Good to see you. Thank you so much. Now, you, you don't only do presidents, you do celebrities. Uh, how about uh, right now he's going through a trial, Michael Jackson? That's horrifying. That's so hurtful. It's crazy. <laughs> Kind of creepy, isn't it? It's a little bit creepy. Yeah. That's so hurtful. I would never hurt a child. It's crazy. Now, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. you, a lot of people have come here, you know, and I've been, uh, I've been flattered that people yes. actually do me. Do you, uh -huh. do you, do you, well, you don't actually, have... Tony, you're one of the first impressions I ever did. Is that yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. I could, I could only do your co-star's character names on Who's the Boss. That's all I could do. So I could do, oh, Jonathan, come on. <laughs> Oh, come on. All right. No, 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 no. No, no, no. Angela. <laughs> come on. Well, let me do this. Will you oh, come on already? I say we run a couple pipes in the Anwar and suck it drier than Noel Coward's memoirs. But, uh, well, don't sugarcoat it. Well, I, you know, it's silly that we don't do anything in Alaska. I don't know your politics. What's your take well, on this? Well, the truth is, Dennis, guy? we do do drilling in Alaska. And unfortunately, our government exports some of the oil that we drill in Alaska. If we need it so badly from Alaska, why are we sending the Alaskan oil that we drill in our country to other countries? That's for starters. And it seems to me... Oh, <laughs> Don't be sucky. Now, and we drill disaster. there. And we drill there. And we need not send the oil that comes from there away. And we need to get serious about Bang, alternative we'll fuels. And, and we need to get tough with the Saudi royal family. But, you know, you say, you know, I'm not going to yeah, do they, that. They don't, they don't yeah, allow us to do anything to increase <laughs> supply, and then they complain about the prices. Well, look, man, Wait a second. <laughs> what do you think about all this, Wits? The, well, uh, is it crazy them going after summers like this? You know what? I, I'm like... Surprise, Nancy, my new friend. I think some on the left gave Mr. Summers a, a bad rap. I mean, I have to say, I understand that we're not all created equally. We might like to believe we all have equal opportunity uh, with our talents, but I'm not going to be the next Shaquille O'Neal. Mm -hmm. And as much as I might want to be, or my parents might want me to be, I'm about four feet short. They vilified him for telling the truth. I, I mean, think, it was ridiculous. I think the great prophet, uh, Matt Damon, said... Uh, <laughs> Said, said a couple of days ago <laughs> at Harvard University, let's not, let's not uh, put the damper on free thought. One of the contract clauses that I saw from a lawyer who was representing one of the Idol contestants said that they're free to make up fictitious rumors and embarrassing stories about you just to sell more records. Hey, it's show business. Wait, man, you what's can't. your take, Pop God? My qu thank you. <laughs> but Dennis, my question... <laughs> my question... You, you know me so well, Dennis. Hey, hey everybody freeze. <laughs> this is an intervention. That's so depressing. It's a paradox wrapped up in an enigma. Yeah. Huh? If it's any consolation, I, uh, never really liked that guy. Why? I don't know, he just always kind of sort of gave me the willies. Right. Even as an infant, I was utterly senseless. I'm not the one toting around a sex doll. Not a sex doll. It's a darn it doll. Used for taking out my aggression. My therapist suggested it. What if all my frailties and insecurities are, are just my legacy? Handed down from generation to generation, like father, like son, adopted or not. You see, if I get married, I'll just carry on the misery that you feel. The pain, the humiliation, the torture, the shame. Maybe that's my purpose in life, to break the cycle of abuse. Are you saying I'm abusive? Not in a traditional way, but, but suddenly, in a, in a much more diabolical way, yes, my God. But, but, but that's okay. I mean, it's part of your charm. I'm okay. <laughs> You're okay. That's good, Dad. Kick it. Give it a good whack. We're all okay. Freak. Mostly I'm afraid of me. Houston, we have a problem. And what I'm capable of. You stupid, crazy, psychotic whore! Sure, I'm doing okay now. Busy! Busy in here, okay? Thanks for the update, bud. We'll check back with you in a couple of years, okay? <laughs> You're gonna eat all that.
This is Geraldo Rivera with a special live report from the scene of what looks to be a serial killing spree in progress. And here is where the trail of carnage leads. A dark and ominous room. Is the murderer inside? We'll find out right after this. Well, I said it once and uh, I'll say it again. I will never negotiate with terrorists. This is going to be sweet. Well, uh, darn it. Oh, wait a second. Wait a second. I can do it. Uh, well, hello. Hello. 